wearing red trimmed with black. Official weight, 139 pounds. He is a veteran of 52 professional bouts, fighting out of the bladder boxing camp, Kokbumen, Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Arif, the Ice Blender. And his opponent across the ring, in the red corner, wearing white trimmed with gold. His professional record, 52 wins, along with 15 knockouts, with one lone defeat and one fight even. He hails from General Santos City and is fighting out of the survival camp, the former WBO Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Marvelous Marvin Sonsana! Round number one, underway. Ito ang survival incident, Matira Matibay. Atin sa inyo ng ESPN5, Marvelous Marvin Sonsona contra kay Arif the Ice Bladder mula sa Indonesia. And here we go, the Dean. What do you expect from this fight? Fireworks. Uh, just one word is our expectation sa laban na ito. No? Third man in the ring is Ferdi Australia, former Ma Makati councillor, son of the former Makati mayor, Max Australia. And for Marvelous Marvin Sonsona. Mababawasan ang kanyang power potential because he's wearing the heavier gloves. A penalty because he weighed in six pounds over the limit. You know, you have to credit yung, uh, ito si Arif Blader as well, knowing na mas mabigat na yung uh, kanyang kalaban still chose to fight today. That's right. Malaking diferencia in terms of their weight. Uh, si Blader scaled 139 as against 147 for Sonsona. Also, Sonsona is 5'8". In height, 5-4 lamang ang kanyang kalaban from Indonesia. At tanong dito para kay Marvin Sonsona, the Dean, yung massive weight cut, uh, how will it affect his performance dito sa laban kontra kay Arif Blader? Well, he did admit that it took him about six weeks to cut down his weight from 186 to 147. That's a lot of weight to bring down in such a short period of time. But sana maging leksyon ito para sa kanya. He did not make the weight for this fight. Pagpasalamat siya that uh, Blader still went on with his fight, despite that height, or rather weight discrepancy. So I'm sort of trying to go inside. Uh, that right straight blocked up top. Wala kay Arif Blader. Blader, sino subong gawin ng head movement with under two minutes remaining in round number one. Good guard up top para dito kay Blader. So Sona mixing it up, going head and then body. You know, we're not seeing the usual type of combinations na... Marvin Sonsona promised to Amanda Fernandez. Uh, even when he won his WBO Super Flyweight Championship, he was dazzling with these combinations. And plus, malakas ang kanyang mga suntok. But here, maybe the weight loss has slowed him down considerably. Oh, good connection from Ari Blatter. Nawala yung jab. You're looking for that jab here from Marvin Sonsona. You know that he's a southpaw, so expect that right hand to be pumping. Ooh, left straight, Malaki Marvin Sonsona. Coming up on a minute remaining of round number one. Binababa ni Marvin yung kanyang kanan na kamay. And, uh, you know, you wonder about his conditioning. Sabi nga natin, no, malaki yung binawat niya na timbang over a short period of time. Come on, bring it up, You baby. wonder whether he's dehydrated, whether he's been sufficiently re-nourished that time. Left hand coming from Sonsona. Again, bringing down the right hand as though inviting Bladder to come in so that he can unleash that left hand. Oh, it does see Bladder try to counter with that uh, left hook, leading with a right straight that time. Sonsona, sinusubong kargahan yung kaliwang kamay, pushing him back. And Sonsona mixing his punches. Kanina, we saw him lead off with a right, and then sometimes he leads off with that left straight. Ooh, head body, head mula dito kay Marvin seconds, Sonsona. Guys. Ten second warning in round number one. Blatter being patient sa kanyang opensa, sa kanyang laro. Oh, Blatter showed absolutely nothing in this first round. It was all Sonsona so far. But we expect a lot more from Marvin Sonsona.
ang bagong kabanata sa boxing career ni Marvin Sonsona at sinusubukan niyang isulat ang uh, susunod na kabanata kontra dito kay Arif Planner. Round number two, underway. This is Survival Instinct. Matira, matibay. Hatid sa inyo ng ESPN5. Ako po muli si James Velasquez, kasama si The Dean, Kinito Henson, and Marvin Sonsona, very aggressive in that round number one, The Dean. I thought he was being very patient. Parang nagpe-pacing siya rito, no? Walang masyadong aggressiveness, I felt, no? Um, I expected a lot okay. more combinations from You're him. Okay. Okay. But here, uh, referee Australia giving Marvin Zosona a warning for rough housing. And let's see whether Bladder can show some kind of uh, aggression dito sa round number two. Again, in the sport of boxing, can't win if you can't okay, uh, punch, Come on. you can't yeah. fire off combinations. Offense will win you fights, not defense. You've got to be able to score points. And you don't score points by blocking blows. A nice shot to the body there by Marvin Zonzona using the left hand. Oh, Bladder. Sinusubo ko naman kumounter sa taas. Sinyo kanina pa yung ginagawa ng round number one uh, with that left hook. But again, hindi pwedeng abang lang ng abang. You have to unload as well. You have to keep your opponent off balance. Uh, guessing kung ano yung susunod mong gagawin. Uh, double jab, malaki Marvin Zonzona. Our observation in here, is that super bagal si Marvin. No? He's got to be able to quicken the pace of this fight, throw more combinations. And I suspected that in game, in round number one, he paced himself, realizing we're scheduled for six. So hindi naman siya nagmamadali. He needs the rounds to get himself back into fight condition. Kailangan uh, smart shots kung tawagin yung uh, baby tawan dito ni Marvin Sonsona. Uh, there's a difference between an aggressive fighter, the Dean, at saka yung fighter na basta-basta na lang nagpapakawala. It has to be calculated aggression para dito kay Marvin Sonsona. And we're seeing signs of brilliance here from Marvin kanina. Nakita natin yung pag-ikot niya away from the defense of Bladder. And that's something that he did with perfection and precision in his heyday. Bring it up. Bring but again, it up. Come on. he hasn't fought in three years. So, the expectation here is he's got to be able to slowly get back into shape. Iba kasi da din yung nagagawa kung puro sparring lang at kung actively kang kumakarera dito sa boxing. And under these bright lights here at the SM City, North Edsa, baka natamahan doon si Bladder and then Bladder just smiling it away. Parang yung mga bata pag napapalo, sinasabi hindi naman masakit eh. Eh, hindi naman nagmamadali ito si Sonsona. You know, he didn't follow up his advantage. Nakatikip doon si Bladder, but uh, Sonsona backed off. I, I, I really feel he, he wants these rounds. He needs to get into condition. And, you know, making short work of Bladder is not going to do him any good. Uh, Bladder still uh, uh, unable to penetrate the defense of Marvin Sonsona because Sonsona has been pushing him back, consistently attacking. Hindi man ganun pa ka-agresibo, pero kumakabit yung kanyang mga kombinasyon. Talking about Marvin Sonsona, he absorbs the counter there, pero kita mo, relente sa kanyang atake. That's right, he connected with the left, pero nakatikin din siya, ang kaya nang galing kay Bladder. So nice exchange of punches that time. Still pacing himself. Si Marvin uh, Sonsona, we haven't seen anything marvelous in uh, the way he has performed so far, but we're seeing some signs. Uh, ito po yung uh, mga nangyari sa last five fights now he's actually won his last six and the big win over Wilfredo Vasquez the former world champion that was by split decision and that was held in 2014 at Madison Square Garden Sonsona scoring a first round knockdown in that uh, in that fight and of course Vasquez is the only man who has beaten Sonsona oh yun ang isa sabihin ko kaya sweet revenge yung anako ni Marvin Sonsona contra Wilfredo Vasquez also joining us is IBO World Bantamweight Champion Michael Desmarinas uh, in attendance. He does a Skydome SM North Edsa as we begin round number three. And about scheduled for six. So it's only in the white and gold, bladder in uh, the red with black trim. So it's on a showboating a little bit here. Kababayong uh, lead yeah. hand. So it's on a trying oh. to connect. Oh! Uh, off balance para dito kay uh, uh, Arif Bladder. Hey, hey, come here. Go to the neutral corner. 
Bop. Here we go. But Bladder has to do something different here, the team. It can't be just the same uh, shtick na kanyang ipinakita dito sa mga nakararaan dahil uh, tulad ng inanabanggit, napapuncture nung uh, left straight ni Sonsona yung guard sa taas. Well, it's been si a one-sided fight so far. Halos wala tayong nakikitang opensa. Galing kay Bladder. He's looking to survive six rounds. And for, uh, for Marvin Sonsona, this looks like a sparring session para sa kanya. Halos hindi nga nakakatama, nakakasuntok si Bladder. So, son, of course, uh, uh, taller at five foot eight compared to five foot four. Na si Ari Bladder. Bladder trying to uh, bully his way inside, but pero smart clinch. Mula dito kay Marvin Sonsona. Balik siya sa gitna. Here's a combination galing kay Marvin Sonsona, but uh, well blocked there by Bladder, who's fighting a very defensive style. Not too much offense, but he's pure offense, pure defense. Dito. Almost like uh, what I mentioned, no? he's just looking to survive. Yeah, taman tama yung tema natin, survival instinct, ano? At syempre, ang survival instinct matira matibay natin sa inyo ng buong pwersa ng ESPN5. Uy, nakatama doon si Bladder and pushing Sonsona back. Pero hindi pa ganun kalulutong yung mga uh, patama dito ni Arif Bladder, but still, kumakabit, kumukonekta, nakakascore ng puntos. And yung mga patama dito ni uh, Sonsona, when he throws that... Uh, uh, right jab and the left straight. Walang masyadong impact. No? It's almost as though he's just uh, pawing at his opponent. Tinamaan dun si Sonsona ng isang kanan galing kay uh, Bladder. Talopong segundo natitira dito sa round number three. Bout okay, schedule for six. Bring Both fighters clinch. Uh, dito rin masusubok ang yung condition ni Marvin Sonsona with a weight cut yes. and everything if it goes into the deep waters of this fight. 10 second warning. Ang tanong dun eh, hinihintay lang ba ni Arif Blader na magpakita ng signs of slowing down ito si Marvin Sonsona bago siya mas maging agresibo, mas maging aktibo sa laban na ito. And that is going to be the big question here but so far so good the Dean for Marvin Sonsona. Well, let's see some slow-mo action for this fight. Actually, in live action, it's almost like slow motion as well. Both fighters not showing too much speed in either their feet or their hands. So this fight is almost being fought in slow motion. And I guess it's because coming back from a long layoff, si Marvin Sonsona. Round number four, Sonsona versus Bladder. Dito sa Survival Instinct, Matira Matibay. Atin sa inyo ng ESPN5. And uh, uh, the Dean, what has stood out to you in this fight? Well, so far, it's been a dominant performance here by Marvin Sonsona. It's really not because he has shown tremendous fighting ability, but it's really more that he's winning the fight by default. Halos walang nagagawa ang kanyang kalaban si Bladder. Um, Sonsona, you don't see the quickness. You don't see the usual snap in his punches. Sabi nga natin kanina, no? he hasn't fought in, his, in the last three years. So he's slowly getting back into fight shape. He continues to dominate. I don't think he's lost a round. Marvin Sonsona. Habang wala pa pinapakita exceptional hand speed o power, ito si Arif Blader. Uh, comfortable si Marvin Sonsona to fight in and out dito sa laban na ito. Blader, as we were saying, fighting a very defensive style. Halos hindi nga bumaba to. At saka so far, kinakaya naman ni Marvin Sonsona yung mga binabato nito si Arif Blader. But in answer to your question kanina, James, no, whether ito lang ba ang hinihintay ni Blader na mapagod si uh, Sonsona and then perhaps starting in this round, which oh. is round number four, he'll try to step up the pace. Ito, ma malalaman natin ang sagot sa katanungan na yun in this round. But 
Oh, oh, good connection from Bladder. Yeah, Bladder. Maybe this is the answer to your question, James. This is what he's looking for. Ito yung timing ni Bladder. Maybe it's time for him to show what he's got against Sonsona. Ah, mahalaga naman para kay Marvin. Uh, kung makikita niyang ina-up ni uh, Bladder yung kanyang aggressiveness, hindi naman pwede magpatalo lang siya. Kita mo ngayon, Bladder is the one yeah. uh, attacking ito si Marvin Sonsona. Pag nakikita niya, medyo nagbabak off si, uh, si Sonsona because Sonsona catching his breath. Biglang aarangkada si Bladder. Shifting gears is Abby Bladder, but Marvin Sonsona tries to connect with a crunching left straight up top. Well, Sonsona is actually a very dangerous counter puncher. So, kung papasok si Bladder, makwitaw siya because Sonsona will be able to hit him right now. Looks like he's gotten, uh, he's gotten Bladder a little hurt with some body shots. 15 seconds, Santi Tira, it's a round number four. Okay, bring it up, come on. It's <laughs> Sonsona uh, uh, trying to catch his breath here. Contra kay Arif Bladder, more aggressive round para dito kay Arif Bladder. Oh, some of his best shots were landed in this round. I thought he had uh, Bladder a little bit in Queer Street. Can he can he allow him? But let him off the hook. And could it be that thing that we're watching out for para dito kay Arif Bladder? Pero si Marvin Sonsona, patuloy na ma-attack, eh, body shots there. Sonsona trying to measure Ari Flatter here. Actually, nabantayan niya eh, pero uh, Ari Flatter showcasing more power in that punch that time. I thought Flatter maybe figured that paubusta ang hangin ni Sonsona. Maybe it was time for him to move in. Pero tinakita naman ni Sonsona, meron pa siyang gasolina sa kanyang tank eh. Or it's a nice shot to the head and the body in that round. Ito man po ang nangyari kay Ari Flatter in his last five fights. All of them were losses. And you notice that he was knocked out by Pai Elorde back in 2017. That was just last year. And his last two fights were held in Australia. This guy's a journeyman. He's been around. Uh, his record, 23 wins and 27 losses. And two draws with only eight knockouts to his credit. So, mas paraming talo si Bladder kaysa sa panalo sa kanyang record. But then again, uh, in the sport of boxing, there's always that puncher's chance to be in, uh, uh, the tide can turn with just one punch. Let's see if Arif Bladder can uh, uh, switch up his fortune. Dito sa round number five. Not scheduled for six. Sonsona trying to connect with a one-two combination up top. Sonsona leading off with that right jab. But you know, his hands must feel very heavy at this stage. Now, spearing bladder with shots to the body. So, sort of being a little more active in this round, which is a good sign considering we're now in round number five. More activity on the part of uh, Sonsona. Well, I think Sonsona yeah. uh, lost his balance. But there's also a little cut. Dun sa gilid ng uh, kanang mata nito si Marvin Sonsona. Dahil kanina pa nga sinusubukang uh, uh, kumabit ng left hook counter nito si Ari Flad. Ooh, good counter para kay Ari Flad and then blocking the two punch combination kay Sonsona. Marvin trying to be more aggressive, knocks him back with a hook to the body. Another hook to the body. Sonsona looks like, looks like he's got fire in his eyes. He's looking for a knockout. Ito, bumapanat dito si Sonsona. He's also looking at that floor where he just slipped. Sonsona fading with his head. Then bringing down his guard. Luring Bladder inside. Hindi naman kumakagat dito si Bladder. Bladder is just a safe distance away. He's got to move in. My Sonsona opening has to move in. Yeah. My opening is the DNA. All he has to do is just, uh, be more aggressive and take it. That time, good uh, lateral movement on the part of Sonsona to avoid the rushing bladder. Pero kita mo yung uh, pagkakaiba ng sayaw da din. Kanina si Sonsona, sugod ng sugod. Ngayon din mo, si Ari Bladder naman, yun nags step forward. But you like the movement of Sonsona in this round. A shot and then he moves, you know, and then he moves away. You know, that step away move ni Marvin Sonsona, I mean, that's, that's very, very helpful. That's a good defensive tactic na ginagawa niya. 
Uh, we remember that left straight and then uh, the dance away from a certain southpaw from Sarangani. Yeah. <laughs> Another southpaw. 15 seconds at the Terrace round number five. Is Sonsona going for a spectacular? Or will he dance and prance away and continue to score points? I'm surprised that he showed a lot more activity in this round. I thought maybe his gas might be ah. running out by this time. But he the round. I find that he's on Sona and I found that he's on Sona. And uh, I thought that was an excellent round for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the final round. At the meantime, Marvin Sonsona, mali ang inyong inaakala. Kaya ko makipagsabayan. Kahit gano'ng katagal ang daban, kahit sino ka pa. This is Survival Instinct, Matirama Tibay on ESPN5. Since round number six, so by ni Marvin Sonsona at the Ari Bladder, ito a survival instinct, Matira Matibay, at sa inyo ng ESPN5. And Marvin Sonsona continues to be the aggressive fighter in this matchup against Ari Bladder. Last round na to for Sonsona. If he wants to finish this fight with a flourish, this is it. Ito na pagkakataon niya. He wants, if he wants to score a spectacular comeback victory, this is his chance. A big warning dito ni coach, or rather the referee for the Australia. Pakalawa na yun. Oh, blather. Tinamaan. Pagpasok niya dito. More sting in the punches of Ari Blather. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Clinch. Yeah, Blather went down on his knee. So referee Australia should have stopped the action. Oh! oh. But they say uh, accidental contact, maybe a head or an elbow. Tumama dito kay Marvin Sonsona. Both fighters actually went down. Earlier, it was Bladder who went down on a knee. No motion from the referee Australia. And then it was Sonsona after a flash of, uh, or rather the headbutt that hit him on the chin. And we'll see that later on in the slow-mo replay. Marvin Sonsona, sinusubukan si Moraan. Ito si uh, Harry Patter. Oh, connects with the left straight. Sonsona, clean shots. Nice now goes to the body. Here's Sonsona. Standing his ground. Exchanging blows. Smart clinch as well. Magpasok ah. si Harry Flatter. At palik sila sa gitna. Flatter keeping his guard up. A minute and 15. At itira sa final round. Gets Sonsona to the ropes, but unable to follow up in a combination. Sonsona calculating the distance with just under a minute. Nati Tirasa final round, round number six. Ari Planner has to go for broke the deep. Pero pinasok na naman left straight ni Marvin Sonsona. Marvelous combination. And to the body, that attack by Marvelous. Marvin Sonsona. So, yung sinasabi natin kanina, flashes of brilliance ang nakikita natin. But overall, our rating for his performance is probably 65%. Uh, we don't see the snap in his punches. No busy in combinations. Because we know he can do so much. Oh, oh yeah. Ang potential niya. And he's a natural, naturally gifted boxer. Yun ang gusto natin makita. No? Siguro, the lection niya dito, but he didn't make the weight. He needs to be more in condition, work harder in the gym, so that maybe in his next fight, he's lighter on his feet. It's going to be difficult for him to campaign in a welterweight division. 10 second warning. Marvin trying to be aggressive. Wag lang machachambahan ni Arif Blatter. Dancing away. And we go the distance, and we go to the scorecards. Marvelous Marvin Sonsona dictating the pace and the tempo against his Indonesian rival, Ari Blatter. On the promise of a spectacular victory, Dinati Nakita, 
But uh, marvelous Marvin Sansono got the rounds in. You know, importante for a fighter who's coming back from a uh, three-year layoff. You know, nakita natin kanina, no? When he went down, and a uh, nice shot to the body there using the left hand to Marvin Sansono. The combinations, the footwork, they're all there, the Dean. Uh, would land three, four punch combinations, tapo sidestep. That was Marvin Sonson. Definitely the skill level is there, and you know that he can certainly still improve in the fight game. Well, the signs are there. He's only 27 years old. At uh, sabi nga natin kanina, no, na ipanalo niya yung kanyang corona, yung kanyang world title, uh, when he was only 19 years old. But he's got a lot of improving and conditioning to do. I think he's just, he just showed maybe 40% of his potential. And my rating for him in this fight, well, against a fighter like Blader, maybe 65%. So that's not a passing mark. So Ari Blader, you got to give him credit. Again, uh, his opponent is overweight, pero pinili pa rin lumaban. Pinili pa rin makapagsabayan. Yan ang puso ng isang tunay na boxingero. Well, also, kung hindi niya tinul yung laban, Eh, hindi siya mababayaran. Yeah. So, <laughs> you don't know how to Let's find out the results from Mr. Noel Zarate. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Danilo Lopez, Oliver Garcia, and Gerald Basig, score the bout 60 to 54 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Marvelous Marvin Sonsona! A marvelous victory. Marvelous Marvin Sonsona, unanimous decision. And there's nowhere to go but up for Marvin. Well, when I knock one round, see Blader, and they fought a defensive fight, he fought to survive. And Sonsono, while this decision was decisive, I thought it was not the kind of Sonsona who uh, hit the heights of uh, professional boxing when he was 19 years old. He's got to do a lot more work in the gym. Oh, sorry, hi. Marvin, congratulations on your win. Do you feel the new strategy that you had in mind to execute in today's fight? Gabi, sa first time na lang bumalik sa ring, parang ako na ako, nalipa ako. Then, ngayon, binigay ko lang lahat talaga ng best ko para manalo. Of course. Sobrang, ipan ko, sobrang galaw ko talaga para manalo lang. Well deserved applause here. You know, napakahaba at napakasakit ng journey mo papunta here. You know, cutting weight and all the struggles that you've been through. Do you feel na nasuklian lahat ng paghihirap mo? Ah, thanks God. Ah, sa totoo, nasuklian talaga ng, ng grabe hirap ko. Ah, three weeks ko nga binawas yung tembang ko. Grabe, grabe, sobra. Mahigit 100% ako naghirap. Ah. Uh, message in naman sa, sa lahat ng mga fans and everyone here that's supporting you. Please give a message. Uh, thank you sa lahat, uh, lalo na sa taga Jensen, lahat ng mga uh, taga Manila, uh, lalo na sa mga bro ko na RBJ at uh, Guardians, lalo na sa mga taga Tabite, Magallanes, uh, thank you sa suporta, uh, lalo na sa trainer ko na si, si uh, Coach Joven Jimenez, lalo na sa Dam, Bariga, Coach Doriante, uh, thank you, lalo na sa suporta sa Alice Live, Kusang Slide, Kuya uh, Kusang Mike Kosan, dito, thank you, thank you sa suporta. Thank you. All right, congratulations Marvin, we're turning things back. Back to James and Kenito. Congratulations. Marvin. Well, the journey continues up the mountain for Marvin Sonso. Well, he didn't even finish his boxing career. He's got to be improving. Um, I think the potential is still there. He can become another world contender. And the uh, future is still wide open for Marvin Sonso. He's got to show discipline, a lot more hard work in the gym. And Marvin Sonso can crash back into the world ratings. He's a natural. I mean, this kid has a boxer's instinct. And uh, yung potential, the signs of brilliance, na nakita natin sa laban. And Marvin Sonsona, congratulations for a unanimous decision victory.